Oh my god, no way. Look at this, guys. They have a South Park Mr. Hanky costume. I cannot believe it. Mr. Hanky the Christmas Poo. We love him and he loves you. Spirits open, let's go! Pick me up in an hour. All right, guys, I have filmed Spirit Halloween stores in every one of 50 states across the entire country of America, finishing off that tour last year with a bang in Alaska and Hawaii, and I have finally made it. I have finally made it here to Canada to this Spirit Halloween. Where's a sign? Right there. There's actually three signs up there. What the heck? Yes, look at this. There are actually three signs on this building, one ginormous one on the top, and then they have two more small signs right below that one. Ah yes, the great sign debate. Why do some stores have ginormous signs and some stores have tiny signs? This store has both. Before we even go in here, I wanna tell you something. You know the very first thing that I noticed when I rolled into Canada? The speed limits. In America, we have like 25, 30, 35, 70, 75. I rolled in yesterday and the speed limit was 62. What in the world is up with that? All right, anyway guys, here we go. Lundy's Lane, Niagara Falls, Ontario, Canada, Spirit Halloween. I just wanna take a closer look at these smaller signs for a minute because these are a little bit different. These look to be like foam or something. They have a little bit of depth to them. And you know what? This is a very long storefront here. So let's take a look before we even go in. And look at this. I just noticed there's even more signs up. All right, in between all our awesome posters here, I can see that we have a gargoyle inflatable going on. We have the skeleton inside a broken coffin right here. He's actually breaking out of the coffin. And I think it's such a cool touch that they made the eye glow. We got the inflatable ghosty here on the end if we keep on moving here we have what do we have oh we have the inflatable small ghosty over here we have the inflatable small pumpkin stack over here do we have any more doesn't look like we have any more but that is a super long entrance to the spirit halloween store and they have yet a fifth sign up here on this beam. I don't think I've ever seen a Spirit Halloween with five signs before. All right, let's go ahead in, guys, and see what's up with the Spirit Halloween in Canada, my very first Spirit Halloween store in Canada. Man, I don't know what this store used to be, but I am already loving the design I see in these windows. And check this out, look at these wooden ceilings. I know that's not what we're here to see, but it's very mesmerizing and entertaining to me. <laughs> All right, as we enter the door, guys, the very first thing we see is the Wheel of Fate, so I have to spin it right here. The very first Wheel of Fate being spun in a Canada store, a Canadian store. I don't know the Canadoos and Canadons around here, so I might get in trouble for making some jokes. Will I live? Will I die? What's happening here? Quit clowning around and try again. I do love that as I first enter in, I am immediately greeted by the Hello Rat. Whoa, look at this, guys. Already I am seeing things I've never seen in the store before. It is a ghost face bath mat. Stay scary. Oh, Canada, you're already winning my heart. No. Look at this, guys. They even have a ghost face shower curtain here. Excuse me, sir. I'm trying to talk to the folks in Canada. I can't even talk. All right, let's give this guy a little bit of attention here. Art the Clown. And he is on the sensor, so he just keeps going and going. And then we got this guy beside him going absolutely crazy. Nibbles the clown. I hear you, sir. So come a little closer and try to take some. What do you say? Look at this, we got two grave watchers down here at the bottom in between them. We have the zombie Steven Seagull down here. All right, let's go on over to the side here. We got the carnival sign set up here. We have this, is this the sitting scary scarecrow, I think? Let's give him some stickers and find out. Yes, it is. 
All right, sir, share those stickers, please. One thing I don't think I've pointed out laying around here are the awesome popcorn box props. That looks so cool. Those are more than likely for sale at the end of the season along with the rest of the ISE setups. And then we got Mac Straw waiting over here for us. Let's get him going. Come on, Mackie. <laughs> He's laughing at us, but it appears that he's in suspended animation with his friend Nibbles over there. Let's look at some of the plushies up here real quick before we move on. We have a ghost face here. And then of course we have our favorite Crouchy. We have Sam down here with his lollipop. And the Harvester over here, I love this guy. I'm pretty sure I bought him a year, about a year ago maybe. All right, let's look at the shirts quick before we move on too, because a lot of people have been looking for this Art the Clown shirt right here. And apparently they're having a hard time finding them. But as I look down here, check this out. Canada has got it going on. They have got an entire stack of these things. Everything from double X to extra large, large, medium, and small. So if you're looking for one, grab your passport, cross the border, drive 31 miles an hour, and you can come get one. All right, before we move on, let's leave some stickers right here at the Wheel of Fate. All right, guys, I am so excited to start looking around through these aisles here, but I want to come over here first because everybody seems to want me to do the animatronics first. So we're going to check out what they got for sale on the floor. We've got a fogging skull pile on the top. We've got a ringmaster here in the store. We've got a scary sitting scarecrow on the bottom and a sinister spirit doll on this side. A plethora of jumping spiders. We got the brown. We got the black and red. Do we have a black? Do we have a black? I don't see a black. There may be more this way though we do have a towering Tallulah here oh my gosh look this store is so much bigger than I thought and there's all kinds of animatronics and some stuff on the floor I can't even talk I'm so excited I can't talk we got a gravestone ghoul here we have a dark princess they actually have a dark princess here I think this is only the third store I've been to where they actually had a dark princess in stock look at this oh my gosh they actually have two keepers here right now one, two. Sandwiched right between two sitting scarecrows. One of them's scary. They have three Wanda Webworths right here. What Webworth? Did I just say Wanda Webworths? We have one, two, three demonic gatekeepers here. Oh my gosh, no they don't. This is absolutely insane. They actually have an entire section for this. Disgusting! All right, let's continue. All right, back on track. We got a sitting scarecrow here. We got a Mac straw. His box is much smaller than I expected it to be. We got a towering Tallulah over here. We got some inflatables over here. We got the inflatable purple haired spinning eyes clown. We got three jack-o'-lantern archways. We got a fogging skull pile here. We got another sitting scarecrow and another scary sitting scarecrow. And look what they actually have in stock. Wow, guys, check this out. This is the first time I'm seeing this in a store. The Art Krispies Bloody Rice Cereal with Marshmallows Tumbler. That is another thing that a lot of people are looking for and cannot find. Wow, so far Canada does not disappoint. And they actually have two of them in stock. Look at this. Here's another one that I haven't seen. Deadpool, you're welcome. All right, you know what? Let's just keep on moving through the store here, see if there's any more animatronics. Here's another stack of the jumping spiders. And here we have a black one. And right below that, we have the gray. So they have all four different colors of the jumping spiders here. Oh my gosh, behind me, they have even more jumping spiders. Let's just take a quick walk down through here, looking for more animatronics, because sometimes these stores like to put them like back in the corners kind of hidden okay none in there let's keep making a circle around here let's go on up through this way here i do see there's a whole bunch of inflatables over here oh here you go that's what i was talking about tucked away in a corner right here ghost face this is not the animatronic this is the one that just lights up in the face and the knife still very cool and look at this it is actually friday the 13th when i am filming this guys and we have the friday the 13th jason solar 
bobblehead. That is cool. And look at all of them bobbling. That's hilarious. Check out these guys up here. See, this is the cool thing with the solar ones. It's the solar that makes them bobble. Look at Freddy right there. He is totally awesome. And then we have Beetlejuice here. And then we have Pennywise down here on the bottom bobbling away. That's funny. When I did my video of all Friday the 13th, I did not see this bobblehead in the store. But if you guys haven't watched that one, make sure you go back and watch it because there's a lot of stuff that I got distracted by and saw in that store that I hadn't seen before. Check this out. It is a pink ghost face. Handmade by robots. Pink ghost face keychain. Whoa, look at this. I've never seen this in a store before. It is a ghost face trick or treat bucket. Speaking of buckets, let's leave some stickers in the bucket, the bucket, the bucket, the bucket, and one in the ghost face bucket. All right, let's move around this way, guys. See if there are any other animatronics hiding around the corners here. And I am not seeing any. So let's go ahead and just walk around the store, see if there's any other stuff I haven't seen in other stores. I gotta say, this store is very well organized. Nice, guys. This is one of the best organized stores I've ever been in. This guy knows because he can see it with four eyes. I don't know if I've ever seen that mask before. Oh, here's this Don Post mask here that reminds me of the Scooby-Doo movie. Old Man Smithers. They have the grandma masks. Can you please take out the trash, honey? Yes, grandma. Thank you for making me a grilled cheese. This right here is the look on my face every time I get a really stupid comment on my videos. <laughs> Look at this, guys. The Canadian stores have the pig friend and the chicken friend. Oh, look, this is the first store I've seen the perma blood in. They have green and they have red. I wonder if they have any of those IR sensors. I see they do have the multi-prop remote. Groundbreaking pumpkin, groundbreaking skeleton. We have two of the dual masked inflatables. Walking monster hand, walking zombie hand. And look at this. As soon as I touch them, they started walking. Yes, they have the hook eye guy and the hook head hog. They also have the clown head and the pumpkin guy wrapped up with a rope. We got monkey chimes, the butcher, and pestilence. Pete. Everything is on sensors in here, guys. As soon as I walk by these, they start it up. This little lady is enjoying her pumpkin here. And this guy is playing peekaboo. Mini peekaboo clown. Let's leave some stickers down here for Spider Biter Billy. We got the hand eater and the rat eater on the end here. We have a couple of ghost face horror babies. Oh, this is cool. I'm not sure if I've seen this before. The pumpkin peeper. You carve the top off the pumpkin and you stick him in there holding the top up. Oh, and look at that. He lights up too. That is very cool. Oh my gosh, I think my belt is giving out. It feels like my pants are falling down. We got a clearance section here too. And look what's in it. The giant inflatable heart from Looney Tunes. You know, thinking about this Art Krispies tumbler here, it makes me wonder if they have the crossbody bag. Wait a minute, I missed a couple of animatronics up here. They have two Bubbas here. Here's some slippers I don't think I've seen yet this season. Sonic slippers. These are like the big red boots. All right, let's take a walk real quick through this costume section here. See if there's any awesome costumes I haven't seen before. I do love a good bee costume. Look at this. We got the bee jumpsuit and we have the queen bee costume there. And let's not forget this guy, the bee stinger. We're not going to go into that. Oh my god. No way. Look at this, guys. They have a South Park Mr. Hanky costume. I cannot believe it. Mr. Hanky the Christmas Poo. That has got to be one of my favorite costumes I've ever seen. We love him and he loves you. Oh, here's Deadpool slippers. Have we seen these? If they had the art crossbody bag, it would more than likely be in this section right here. They have the glasses, the socks, and the double-sided Terrifier knife but no crossbody bag. They do have a bling Jack Skellington though. Oh, look at this. They also have the ghost face bling and the ghost face devil bling. Go back to Hexer. All right, one more section over here, guys. This is where we first came in and we saw the stay scary bath mat. They do have the killer clowns popcorn gun. Wait, have I seen this? The ghost face pumpkin carver statue. Oh, look at this. They do have the three pack of haunted mansion side steppers. I haven't seen these in many stores. Very cool. Is this guy going to sidestep? Maybe his batteries are dead. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, there you have it. My very first 
Spirit Halloween store in Canada and it did not disappoint. Very awesome. And I bought one of the Art the Clown tumblers. <laughs> All right, guys, I am in Penn Center Mall right now in St. Catharines, Ontario, Canada. This is a pretty dang good looking mall here. But right now I am looking for the Spirit Halloween, which is apparently down here somewhere. Whoa, look at this ginormous guy right here, ready to rip your face off with those claws if you touch her baby. Ah, uh, yes, here we go. Here it is. Look at the awesome glass front to this store. I'm just curious before we go in. We got the front here. We got all the posters on this side. Nope, I guess not. I was just curious if there was another entrance over here on this end. All right, I can already hear art going nuts in there. So let's go ahead and go in the store here, guys, and check out everything they have. I can already see they have tons of animatronics up here on the floor for sale. This is a pretty good looking store. I don't know how small or big it is. Like walking in, it looks small, but I can see that it goes back in this cove. And then it looks like there's a doorway over here. So let's begin with the Wheel of Fate since it's right inside the door. Here we go. What is it? What will it be? It's the eye! You know what, let's step right back outside for a second and take a look at these boxes here. Only because we can't see the front or the artwork on the boxes from the inside. So we got a ghost face right here. We got a towering Tallulah. We have a Wanda Webworth on the bottom and look who we have on the top, the deadly creeper. Over here we have, let's see, a stuffed dummy prop. We have two Bubbas. We have a jumping spider. We have a Nozzles. Oh my gosh, they have a Nozzles in stock. They have a Mr. Punchy and a night terror. Okay, let's go ahead back in here, guys, and let's check out this stack right here, and then we're gonna come back to the animatronics they actually have set up. We have a scary sitting scarecrow on top. We have a stilts, AKA Papa Pins on the bottom. We have a Max Straw over here. Look at this, they actually have a Slim in stock here. They have a Sandworm Groundbreaker. Over here we have a Ringmaster. And they have the Bouncy Jason Head Pillows. And look at this. What the heck? This is the first time I've ever seen this in a spirit. It is a stuffed Casper. How cool is that? He is $34.99. You know what I really like about him? Even though he's white, he has like that sparkly material like on the original ghost face costume. Is this? Yes, this is a doorway here that goes back into another section and we have more animatronics here. We got a night terror on the top. We got a demonic gatekeeper down here. We got a grave watcher. Look at this. They actually have an eternal rest in stock right here in Ontarianto. Canada. They also have a Nozzles the Clown on the bottom and a Fogging Skull Pile on top. I didn't think we'd see one of those till we got to the Canada Dry region. All right, let's come on back through here. What is this? Two for ten dollars. Freaky fabric. Look at this. They have all kinds of different colors. They got orange, purple, what is this, gray or brown or maybe even green since I'm colorblind? And then they have this white. Okay, fine, maybe it's beige. And then we have black down here. They actually have the 12 foot Pennywise and the 12 foot ghost face. I own the ghost face, but not the Pennywise. They have the 12 foot jumbo and this giant snake down here, 20 feet long, that I kept saying I wanted to buy last year and I never did. Oh my Lord, I see something else that I have not seen in any other stores. People are going gaga. Literally, baby gaga for this guy right here. The Art the Clown Horror Baby. Look at this, guys. They have two of them right here. These things are so difficult to find in the States. Look at his outfit. This is hilarious. And he even has the fingerless gloves on. That is so awesome. They also have Ghostface and Michael Myers here. Guys, these Canadian stores are killing it. All right, how much is this guy? 65 bucks for Art the Clown Horror Baby. We have a plethora of zombie babies here, including the new ones, Barbara Wire and Young Peekaboo Clown. Ah, boo! <laughs> 
We got scabs and the secret keeping cat ganging up on us. We have a whole bunch of the hello rats. We have the zombie squirrels. We have the creeping cats. Let's leave some stickers for the cauldron. We have the crows over here. A murder of crows. Carrot triplets. Look at this. We got two hook eye guys here. And we have two hook head hogs. Wait a minute. What is this? It's a Beetlejuice prop. Okay, it's a crossbody bag. It's Lydia's camera. That is pretty cool. I haven't seen that before. And look, it has a little zipper pouch inside that looks like a Polaroid with Barbara and Adam as ghosts. This is cool, the little Beetlejuice sculpture here. I'd like to make one of these, actually, like a big life-size one. Oh, crap. Here's another thing everybody's looking for that they cannot find, the art Crispy's cereal box. This is actually made from wood and you just hang it on the wall. But how cool is that? I've only seen this in one store in the States so far, guys. So far, Canada is killing it with the art props. I can't get it on there. <laughs> All right, let's make our way back up through here and go see the animatronics they have set up at the door. All right, let's start with the sitting scarecrow. Reach into my bowl if you dare. I dare. It's the regular sitting scarecrow too. It's not the scary one, even though he's pretty scary as he is. All right, let's come over here and get art going. <laughs> Aside from that horn, it seems very quiet in the store. We got Cotton Candy Dan here. Let's get him going. Come on, Dan. Attention all kiddos! Attention all kiddos! I found a lost hearing. Good job, mister. All right, let's get this guy going here. Uh-oh. Where's his... He doesn't have a thing. Oh, he must be on the sensor. Will he follow me? Yep, there he goes. I know I see you, Mr. Follower. Yeah, he doesn't follow me if I have the camera way up here, but if I lower it... There he goes. Let's say hello to Mr. Steven Seagal. Excuse me, sir, I think you got a little ketchup from your cheeseburger, from my cheeseburger on your beak. All right, we got Tallulah and the Dark Princess here. Let's get the Dark Princess going. Come on now. Here she comes. I can just barely hear her. I love how her hair gets thrown up in the air. That's totally awesome. I'm gonna have to watch a video online to see what she actually says because it even though it's quieter in here than the usual stores It's definitely too loud to hear what she says. All right, let's get Tallulah going here. Come on Tallulah Here we go That seemed a little hesitant <laughs> She waited longer than usual to jump and look at how all her seaweed is thrown up there on her hands all right, let's move on back through this way here, see what we can find in the back. I like to scope out the store and check out all the cracks and crevices and corners just in case they have animatronics sitting around somewhere. All right, let's check out this side over here. I don't see any others sitting around. Oh, look at this. I don't think I've ever seen this costume, the Cemetery Bride. That looks pretty cool. You know, I did notice these big fur coats that they have here in the Canada stores that I haven't seen in the States. I'm not really sure what they're supposed to be, but this here beside them makes me think of Beth on Yellowstone, so maybe it's like a impromptu costume for that, or maybe it's a pimp costume. In which case, you'd want to visit this section right here check this out we got the gold pimp chains right here they're blinged out they got the bling veneers here we got the pimp ring set the bracelet the spinner chain giant dollar sign necklace glasses the pimp cane and even fake money a whole stack of hundos it's all about the Benjamins what the heck is this inflatable I don't think I've ever seen this one before Toy Story alien kit okay it's not inflatable but it's the giant three-eyed alien mask. I don't think it comes with the shirt or the gloves, but it says it comes with the mask and the patch. So you must just have to find your own shirt and gloves, and then it comes with that patch right there. The claw decides who will stay and who will go. I do think this is awesome. The crossbody treat bag, which is actually a Monsters, Inc. scream container. And look at this. Just like the other store, they actually have a whole stock 
of the Art the Clown Spirit logo shirts. Holy crap, look what else they have, guys. They have the Art the Clown Art Krispies crossbody bag. Not only one, they have three of them. That is amazing. I haven't seen these in any stores in the States at all yet. And they have three in this store right here. And I think that is a good note to end this one. Spirit Halloween Penn Center Mall in St. Catherine, Ontario. Get down here if you want to art the clown crossbody bag. Spirit's open, let's go! Wait a minute, look what I see over here, guys. What the heck is this? It is. This is a Art the Clown backpack. What the heck? I didn't even know this existed. Spirit's open, let's go. <laughs> Pick me up in an hour. All right, guys, we are at our third Spirit Halloween store here in Canada. This is the second St. Catharines location. It's only about 10 minutes away from Penn Center Mall where we just were. And this one has an enormous sign. I think this sign is about the size of the one in the abandoned Bed Bath & Beyond back in North Canton in Ohio. It is kind of interesting to see a different retail landscape. Look at this. We have something down here called No Frills. I might have to bounce in there and check that out as well as the Dollarama over here. But for for now, let's go ahead into this Spirit Halloween right here with the enormous sign and just see what it looks inside St. Catherine's store number two in Ontario, Canada. And right inside the door, they have the Spirit Halloween music playing, which unfortunately I can't just stop and let you listen to because of copyrights. But before we get started with the carnival in here, I want to look at this over here. The plush Coraline cross body bag. I have never seen this before. I'll tell you what, I am having an awesome time in these Canadian stores because so far in every store I've been to, I have seen something I have not seen in other stores. Oh my gosh, I see two more things right over here, but first we're gonna look at the carnival. All right, here we go, guys. We got Ghostface right up front, and we got this guy over here, the ringmaster. Let's get Ghostface going first. I don't know if you can even hear him over the music because the music is so loud even though it's awesome. This guy has the knife and the aged face in place and as you know you can swap those out to a bloody face and a machete. Oh, hello rat. Let's leave that guy some stickers right there. And let's come over and check out the ringmaster. It's pretty bright in here so I don't think we'll be able to see what's happening with this chest. Yeah, you can just barely see it happening there. Oh wow, they got a whole stack of animatronics back here for sale. Let's go ahead through the Carnival sign. Hello, One-Eyed Jack. All right, this is a little different setup here. We got Art standing here in Fredo Tallulah. All right, let's get Tallulah going here. Come on now. Look at how tied up her stuff gets up here, because she throws it all around when she jumps. All right, let's come spin the Wheel of Fate before we do anything else. What will it be? Will I live or will I die in Canada? Come on, let me live in Canada, please. Come on. Your luck just ran out. <laughs> Wait a minute, look what I see over here, guys. What the heck is this? It is. This is a Art the Clown backpack. What the heck? I didn't even know this existed. 
I don't know what it is with these Canadian stores, but they are absolutely killing it with Art the Clown. I seriously did not even know that this product exists. Art the Clown backpack. I've seen everything else except that backpack. Look at this. We got the boxes down here. We got the costumes here. We got the socks. We got the glasses. We got the knife. I haven't looked at these before, but I know that I've seen them like in pictures online. That's a keychain, and then we have the iron-on patch and pin set, and the pin is the Art Krispies box. That just absolutely blows me away. Back in the States, it is so hard to find any of this Art the Clown stuff. But here in Canada, they are just stocked. That thing just blows me away right now. All right, before we get too carried away, let's come on over here and see this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Mac Straw. Oh, fortune teller ball, why do these Canadian stores have all the Art the Clown products? All right, before we move on to the Fun House of Terror, let's check out all of these things right here. Oh my gosh, they got them stacked all around this right here. Then there's even more back there. All right, let's see here. We got a Bubba Man's Possessed Friend right here. We got the Nightmare Before Christmas Groundbreaking Worm. We got Dagger Mike right here. We got a Fogging Skull pile right here. We got a demonic gatekeeper. We got the ringmaster. We got another dagger mic right here. Look at this. We have a cauldroness. We have another groundbreaking worm and they actually have an Art the Clown animatronic right here, right now in Ontario, Canada for sale. If you need it, get over here now. We got the light up ghost face back here. We got a Max straw back here hiding behind Art the Clown. We got a dark princess right there. We got a punchy. We got another dagger Mike. And here's a funny thing. When I first saw the Dark Princess online, I thought she was built on Desmodus me Mechanism. Desmodus's Mechanism. I can't even talk. But then I realized it's not. She's actually built on Dagger Mike's Mechanism. We have another Bubba here. We have an Emmeline peeking out there. We have a Night Terror, another Dark Princess, a Cremator. And if you look hiding down here, we have that tall guy, the Giant Death Ray. And then over here we have a fogging skull pile and a gravestone ghoul. You know what? Let's go ahead and leave some stickers here for the night terror. I can hear Emily talking over here. So you know what? Before we go through the fun house of terror, let's just come on over here and watch them for a second. I love you, Baker. But you're not mine. I made a promise. You kept your promise. Now I can do the same for you. All right, let's get Bobby Strings going here. Once there was a handsome puppet, he said. <laughs> so here's a funny thing. All season long, actually all year long, all the time, people are always asking me what my favorite animatronic is, and the answer changes all the time. I just did an interview with the Associated Press the other day, and this time I said, Bobby Strings. <laughs> I do love Bobby Strings. He's anything but Halloween, but he is a very unique and funny animatronic. All right, I gotta get sidetracked here for a second because look at this awesome SpongeBob mask. This is like a fabric and foam mask. I don't know that I've seen that before. All right, let's go through the Fun House of Terror here. Hello, Fun House. Will we smell cotton candy? Yes, I smell the cotton candy in here, guys. Before cotton candy, after cotton candy. <laughs> and you know where they really could have capitalized on this? If they make it smell like cotton candy in here, you walk through, you smell it, and then you're like, I want cotton candy. And they could have been selling cotton candy right up at the front desk and made a killing. All right, let's keep on going here and see who they have out here. We have two more dark princesses here. I think that's the most I've seen in any stores. A scary sitting Scarecrow, another Dagger Mike. We got a Gordo here and a Demonic Gatekeeper. We got a Gravestone Ghoul over here, an Emmeline, Barnaby the Bear hiding behind her, Slim hiding behind her, and a Groundbreaking Sandworm from Beetlejuice. I don't see any fleece 
blankets that I haven't seen before, even though they have a ton of them here. But I do see the ET here that I actually bought in another store, and his finger lights up. He's way cool. And I do see the Casper, and this is only the second store I've seen him in. And they have Lord Farquaad. This is only the second store I've seen him in. If you know, you know. All right, let's see if we can get a growl out of Barnaby the Bear. God, he's super loud. He is so cool. I have not bought him yet either, and I'm probably going to regret it if I don't buy him this season. All right, let's just go ahead and take a walk through the store here, guys. I'm seeing so many things that I've never seen in these stores here. Of course, it is still the beginning of the season. I love these books that are actually boxes you can hide money or whatever in. Look at this one that has a ghost on the front. You can put it on your bookshelf, and then you hide whatever you want in there, and nobody is any wiser when they think it's just a book about the ghosties. This is something else new that I'm seeing in the stores. It's a cauldron that has like the green, I guess that's supposed to be bubbles boiling over. It looks kind of like moss. Let's go ahead and leave some stickers in there. I will never carry a crossbody bag, but I gotta say, it's a very creative product. Cat bones. Here's one shaped like a ghost. It's almost like that pearl color rather than just white. This one is actually a backpack, but it's supposed to apparently look like a headstone. It says dead inside. Holy crap, look at this. It is a Toy Story Slinky Dog crossbody bag. <laughs> That is exactly what I'm talking about right there. These things are so creative. The Headless Wednesday Doll Crossbody Bag. The Chucky Knife Crossbody Bag. Sam's Sucker. Handbook for the Recently Deceased. Lydia's Camera, I love this one. The Harley Quinn Hammer Crossbody Bag. Ninja Turtles Pizza. Whoa, look at this Arctic Yeti costume. I've never seen that before. That is absolutely hilarious and enormous. Look at the face on that guy. That is hilarious. Look at this. Yet another thing that I have not seen yet. It's a green Frankenstein's monster statue. Does that thing... I guess it doesn't light up, but it's pretty cool. Here's a gremlin's gizmo sidestepper. Let's get him going. <laughs> I love the sound he makes. They've got the ghost face blow molds down here. Look at this, I'm not even sure what you call these, but you take them and put a candle inside and then it lights up and you can see that this is Chucky on here or Sam from Trick or Treat or the Mars Attacks Alien or Michael Myers. Those are cool. Then we got the little Freddy with a ficus. <laughs> we got plenty of Annabelles and Chuckies and Sams. And look at this, this is only the maybe second store I've seen the articulated statue in. And look at this, they have the Hanging Jack Reaper. I think that's the first one I've seen in a Canadian store and then they have these guys who need the Aquafresh. They got the purple haired clown light cover. It would be so cool if his eyes were spinning as well. Like the animatronic inflatable. We got the Hello Rat, the secret keeping cat. We have Carrot and Scab's best friends forever. And it continues guys. Look at this. This is only the second store that I've seen the art horror baby in. And both stores have been the Canadian stores. You can go right back there you hoser let's leave some stickers in the buckets we've got the hand eater the pumpkin eater barbara wire the rat eater the spider biter and the baby peekaboo clown look at this guys amongst these inflatables are two that i haven't seen anywhere else yet we have this spider over here that i don't think i've ever seen in stores 12 foot inflatable spider and then we have the sam down here which i also have not seen in any other store stores and he I believe is eight feet tall now if you guys watched the Friday the 13th everything Friday the 13th video that I put up from Spirit Halloween you've seen this already the inflatable piggyback ghost face costume how cool is that and look at the inflatable Mike Wazowski costume one eye oh I just realized we never talked to this guy nibbles the clown <laughs> We didn't talk to him. We didn't come over here and talk to this guy either. See if we can get him going here. Ah. <laughs> 
We didn't even talk to Cotton Candy Dan. What the heck am I doing? Come on, Dan. Better be careful walking around at this place. You can get in all kinds of sticky situations here. <laughs> And then we got one left that we haven't looked at yet, the giant death ray. Let's go ahead and get him going here. And I'll say it again, he reminds me of the movie Fire in the Sky. If you haven't seen that, make sure you see it very soon. Oh wait, there was something over here that I wanted to show you that I saw when we first came in and I said I'd never seen it in stores before. Maybe I have, but I don't remember. The Good Guys Chucky Box. How cool is that? I love that costume. Wow, that comes with the shirt and the frame and everything. And this was the other thing right here. The Cut-Off Chucky Good Guys Sweater. What the heck? Chucky 88. Whoa, look at this. Okay, so I have seen the Ghost Face Bling Mask. I have seen the Ghost Face Devil Face Bling Mask. But I have never seen the Ghost Face Mirror Ball Mask. Yes, it's a mirror ball mask. The shroud is even sparkly like the 25th anniversary mask. That is very cool. Look at that. <laughs> Another ghost face thing they have this year that's new for this year at Spirit is this What's Up spoof mask from Scary Movie. What's up? And look at this, guys. We're going to finish this video off with their awesome collection of tumblers. I just bought the Art Krispies tumbler in the first store that I went to here in Canada. They also have the Coraline Tumbler, which I have not seen at all. Nightmare Before Christmas here with Jack Skellington. We got Wednesday there. They got Mars Attacks. And in this one hiding back here, this heart, the bleeding heart. Wow, they actually have three of the Art Krispies ones. That's surprising. <laughs> Excuse me, sir, you seriously need some Aquafresh. Spirit's open, let's go! Pick me up in an hour. All right, guys, we are continuing our tour across Canada today. We are in Burlington, Ontario, about to go into this spirit Halloween right here in Brantview Plaza. Look at this store. This looks pretty dang cool. This used to be a Michael's store, if I haven't said that already. That's a Michael's craft store. And look at this. I love, well, first of all, I love the top there. I love how it's displayed on the big, like, wire cage. We got a giant banner up there. And then we have posters on the windows all the way down and around the corner. That looks totally awesome. Man, if that cage right there had a floor, you could put some animatronics or a giant inflatable in it, and that would totally top it off. Yeah, check that out. That kind of looks like it should be an entrance to a haunted house. All right, let's go ahead and go in here and see how things look in Burlington, Ontario. Spirit Halloween. Thank you, Automatic Doors. All right, guys, this is a pretty big store. I am so excited to get in here and start looking around. I was trying to think before we get started with the Carnival, if there's anything that I'm looking for that I haven't seen yet. I'm sure there are things that will pop out at me that I haven't seen yet that I'm not even aware exist, but let's go ahead and get this started here. As always, right at the front of the Carnival, we have this guy, the Ringmaster. Step right up. Come on, come on. One of these times I'm going to ask if they can just shut off all the lights in the store except for everything Carnival because I have yet to see the display on his chest very well because it's always so bright in the stores. All right, let's check out Ghostface here before we move on. You teach a class about slashers and you still walked into a dark alley. Uh -oh.
Wait a minute, let's do it again. I always hear that one. Now I see something red. <laughs> okay, we've heard that one too. I want to see what Elsie says. Strange that you and I have never spoken on the phone. This is long overdue. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I think I've heard them all. Okay, let's go ahead through the carn evil. I bet that would look so cool in the dark right there. Oh, we have the dark princess already going crazy over here. Let's go ahead and start with her. Usually we start by spinning the wheel, but let's go ahead and give dark princess her chance at fame. Okay, here we go. Come on now. Come on. I still can't hear what she says. She's turned down so low in here, and I don't want to go sticking my hand up her dress in here. That would be very weird. No, we don't want to go getting kicked out of the spirit Halloween, do we? All right, let's go on over and do the Wheel of Fate. We almost figured out our fate just by what we said over there at the Dark Angel. That was so wrong. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Will we live? Will we die? What am I talking about? We. It's will I live or die here in Canada, right here, right now. What will it be? Your luck just ran out. That figures. Whew, that guy's kind of loud back here. All right, let's get towering Tallulah going here. Come on now, Tallulah. <laughs> All right, I just want to get Tallulah going here one time and listen to everything she says. She talks for so long. Here we go. Who do we have here? Your curiosity and trespassing has cost you your mortality. Fear not. For you, what? Eternal existence, spellbound to me, for the rest of time. All right, let's make our way over here to Mac Straw. All right, here we go. Come on, Mackie. <laughs> <laughs> he is very quiet today. Sometimes he is like the loudest animatronic in the entire store. Well, wait a minute. Have I seen the Pennywise plush before? I probably have, but I get so excited by everything I ever see that I always think I miss things. $37.99 for Pennywise the Clown plush. Ooh, look at this. We also have the Five Nights at Freddy's slippers here. I don't know if I've seen those before. Hello, Freddy. This store has the Art Krispies crossbody bags as well. And look at this. Have I seen this one before from the, cro or from the Corpse Bride? Oh my gosh, I almost called it the Cross Bride. That one is pretty cool too. All right, let's keep on moving back here and let's go ahead and give some stickers to this scary sitting scarecrow here. Here you go, sir. Stickers for you. Why, you're welcome. Let's go ahead and get art going here. I have to remember, I'm supposed to be looking for an art animatronic for my friend Wally B26. We got the ginormous death ray going over here. And look at the size of those stompers. <laughs> Giant stompers and huge meat hooks. All right, let's get the cremator going here. The shadows with me, water, where the boundary between life and death blurs, and the night holds its breath for you. <laughs> Hello, Steven Seagull. All right, we got, yeah, what the heck did just, something just stabbed me in the back. All right, we got the world famous sideshow over here and the fun house of terror, but let's go over here first and see what they have for sale on the floor. Let's start back here. Look at this giant pile. We got two Barnaby the Bears on top. We got a Wanda Webworth down here, a Max Straw. Actually, we have three Max Straws. We have two giant death rays here, a Mr. Punchy, another Mr. Punchy. We got a scary sitting scarecrow, a regular sitting scarecrow down here, two demonic gatekeepers, and another Barnaby 
see the bear on the bottom. Oh, look, here's another whole pile back here. We got what, one, maybe, the, is this a dagger? We got two dagger mics. We got a Bobby Strings. We got a whole stack of Cerberuses. Ooh, we got a cremator over here and two Emmelines. We got the foam coffin, and look at this. We have five Bubbas, man's possessed friend. We got a whole plethora of jumping spiders over here. I see we got the gray one. We got the black one. We got the black and red. Do we have a brown? I don't... Oh, yeah, here we go. We got a brown one right there. They got all four jumping spider varieties. We got more over here. We have more over here. All right, so we have two Slims here. Look at this. We have two Emily's. You know, I don't know if I've seen any Victors for sale in any stores yet. I'm sure they have them, but I just haven't seen them. We got a Howling Spirit on the bottom. We got the Scary Sitting Scarecrow here. We have a Ghastly Ghost Girl on a swing. We got the Nightmare Before Christmas Groundbreaking Worm. We have two of the ghost faces that light up and two of the actual animatronic ghost faces and look what we have right here guys. I can't believe this is the second one I've seen in stores. I actually bought the first one in North Canton, Ohio. Mars Attacks, Martian Warrior, right here, right now. I know, sir, we're coming back to see you. But first, let's come over here and check out these animatronics. Look at this, we got a ghost face that lights up over here. We have one, two, three, four, five night terrors. I cannot believe there's five of them. We got two gravestone ghouls here and a spike. I don't think I have ever seen a spike for sale in the store. $219.99 right here in Canada. That is pretty amazing. This is what I'm talking about. I always find animatronics in stores that are not supposed to be in stores. They got an awesome selection of the inflatables over here. Look at this. We got the secret keeping cat here, the dual masked inflatable, the wolf, the owl. We got a bunch of ghosts up here, a gargoyle, jack-o'-lantern stacks, reapers, bigger ghosts, killer clowns trio, and the 12-foot jumbo. We got the 12-foot ghost face, the 12-foot giant spider, the 20-foot snake down there, the 14 foot hearse, we got the jack-o'-lantern archway here, we have the spinning eyes purple haired clown, we have the awesome Jack the Reaper archway, 12 feet tall. There are a lot of different versions of this archway out there this year. I mean, this is the only Jack the Reaper one you're going to see, but I've seen one that's like bones. And then there's just a regular skeleton face. I've seen another one with the black shroud and a skeleton face. And then, of course, we have the eight-foot inflatable Sam up here. Oh, look at this. We have the Michael Myers horror baby here and the ghost face. We're seeing ghost face in more stores than I thought we would. And we're seeing less Michael Myers than I thought we would. I really thought they would just churn him out this year, but I've only seen him in maybe two stores. We got the hand eater. We got the rat eater. Ah, yes, I will kill you. I just don't know how. I love this one. This is my favorite new one. Scheming Sally. I love the look in her eyes. What was the other one called that was, it was a boy and dressed in blue and doing basically the same thing? I can't remember his name, but he was hilarious. She is awesome. Yes, I know. She's not moving her mouth because she's talking to us with her brain. Let's put a couple of stickers in the cauldron. They have a pretty good selection of zombie babies over here, guys. We got that new one over there, Scheming Sally. We have Gutsy Gwen eating her pumpkin. We have the rat eater, of course. A ton of spider biter billies. And then this one down here, which I'll show you this one over here because he's on the top, and he is the mini peekaboo clown. <laughs> <laughs> we got a couple of hand eaters here, and here is another new one for this year, Barbara Wire. She is also totally awesome. And I don't want to ignore this one, which is just totally creepy. Go back to heck. I know I got totally sidetracked from the animatronics, but let's just keep looking at this stuff for a minute here. I love the variety of bone characters. Look at this guy right here. He's like a skeleton alien, or I guess he would be a, an alien skeleton. What the heck is that? thing. And look at this two-headed, what is it? Two-headed something, two-headed ostrich or something. Okay, I know he's not an ostrich, but what the heck is he? And look at this guy here, this clown pumpkin. He is totally awesome. Oh, I thought he would light up, but he doesn't light up. You could cut a hole in the bottom, though, a bigger hole than that, and actually put a light up inside of there. Hello, rat. All right, here we go. We got empty soul girl on a swing. We got two of those. We got a whole bunch of the creepy crimson girl on swing. 
things. And here's another ghastly ghost girl. They got a bunch of awesome pathway markers here. Look at this. We've got the skull pathway markers, the creepy skull pathway markers, the zombie heads, the spooky pumpkins. Is this a toe tapping boots? Oh my God. I haven't seen these forever. The clown toe tappers. Those have been sold out forever. We got the creepy doll head pathway markers, the creepy lanterns. We have more creepy pumpkins here and the zombie arms up on top. Look at this, this is cool. It's a skull with a spine. Like somebody got mad at him, grabbed his neck and ripped him out. Oh, and Canada has secret keeping cats. We got some hanging jacks over here. Wow, they have four of those. Excuse me, sir, you seriously need some aqua fresh. Let's give some tricks or treats to the trick or treat bags here. Someone will be surprised. <laughs> they have an awesome selection of just about everything in this store. Look at all the plush here. We got a couple of bouncy heads here, tons of pajamas, and look at all the snugger roomies they have. Check this out. They have SpongeBob. They have Patrick, a Patrick snugger roomie. They have a Scooby Doo snugger roomie, a Freddy Krueger snugger roomie. They have a Shrek snugger roomie. <laughs> <laughs> and a Sam. And what's this one down here? Oh, this is Chucky. Good guys. They have tons of plush blankets, tons of slippers. I, ooh, I don't think I've seen the killer clown slippers before. Those look pretty cool. We got the Chuckies up there. We have the Harry Potter owls. We got some minions. We got Sam. Here's Batman, I think. Yep, that's Batman. We got Michael Myers. We got Five Nights at Freddy's, SpongeBob and Patrick. What in the world? Chucky boxer briefs, Terrifier boxer briefs. I have not seen these in any other stores. They even have Halloween 2 Michael Myers boxer briefs down there. All right, let's check out some of these animatronics over here. Let's go ahead and start with Cotton Candy Dan. Come on, Dan. Oh, one eye. Better be careful walking around in this place. We got Wanda Webworth over here already going crazy. Look at her fangs. I love how her fangs just go. Let's go ahead and leave a sticker here for Wanda. We got Nibbles going here already. Let's see if he'll follow me. Yeah, he's already following. Very cool. Very good job, Mr. Nibbles. We're going to go ahead and leave you a sticker as well. That's what I was talking about. All right, let's come on over here and get Barnaby going. What the heck, did I just get that on camera? That lady right there just got the crap scared out of her by Tallulah. <laughs> All right, we got the jumping spider here. Let's get him going. Come on, Jumpy. Here we go. You guys remember back when the jumping spider used to scare the crap out of me every single time? Let's go ahead and get Emily and Victor going. Oh, look, they're on opposite sides this time. I will write your way in dust. With this ring, I ask you to be mine. I do. You make the bride. Let's leave a couple of stickers for those fellows. And last but not least, Bobby Strings. Come on, Bobby. Finally made it. I pulled some strings to get you here. That is probably the longest thing he says. Okay, and finally, let's go ahead through the spirit fun house of terror. Here we go. Will it smell like cotton candy? Mm, oh my gosh, it does. I think this is the strongest smelling cotton candy spooky fun house ever. Ooh, wait a minute. This mirror kind of makes me look like I haven't been eating a bunch of bacon this morning. Uh, of course, then we come over here. All right, let's get out of this fun house here. Yeah, wow, guys, this store is just absolutely stocked. And look what we have here. Jack the Reaper costumes. These are kind of hard to find, actually. These are adult size, and there's only two. And they are stocked in the kids' costumes as well. I'm not sure where we would find the Jack Reaper 
Reaper costume maybe over here. Oh, they do have the Nightcrawler costume. And I see some Skella bones, but I just don't see any Jack Reapers over here in the kids section. All right, we can't leave without putting some stickers in the bucket, the bucket, the bucket. Okay, and one last thing. I did notice that despite all the tons of Art Krispies tumblers I'm seeing here in Canada. I'm not seeing any of the Ghostface Bling Killing It tumblers. So that must be the one that is really difficult to get here. All right, guys, that is it for the Brantview, Brantview Plaza Spirit Halloween. That was an awesome store, totally stocked, and the employees were totally awesome, too. <laughs> We have a ton of these scary flying ghosts. I need to get one of these because these make the old school sound of Oh, what in the world? Spirits open, let's go! Pick me up in an hour. All right, guys, we are continuing across Canada in this giant monster of an RV back here. And today we are in Oakville, Ontario at this Spirit Halloween with a ginormous sign, which used to be a Nike outlet. Look at this. You can even still see the huge swoosh on the building there. And this is actually one of the coolest looking spirits I've ever seen. I love seeing all the different designs of buildings that these stores end up in. Nike outlet, Oakville, Ontario, Canada. Let's go ahead in and see what kind of awesomeness awaits. Why, yes, I do love spirit. All right. Whoa, locked. I was going to be so bummed out if they weren't even open. All right, we got a little different setup in this store here, but look at this. We've got tons of animatronics for sale on the floor. Let's go ahead and just look at these first. We got three ringmasters right here up in the front. We'll come back around to these guys. We got a whole plethora of sitting scarecrows. I know, sir. I hear you. All right, let's go ahead and give him some stickers before we even move on. That was a good scare, buddy. As I was saying, a plethora of sitting scarecrows. Some are scary. Some are not. Actually, they're all scary. It's just that some of their mommies named them Sitting Scarecrow, and some of their mommies named them Scary Sitting Scarecrow. We've got three giant death rays. I don't think I've been in a store yet that has had three giant death rays. We've got two Barnaby the Bears over here. An entire, not even just a half, but an entire plethora of man's possessed friend. We've got one, two, three Max Straws here. Let's turn this guy around right here. There you go. Man, yeah, they got one, two, three, four, five, six Bubbas. Seven Bubbas. And then we got two empty soul girls on swings. We got a Bobby Strings here. We got another Bobby Strings. Oh my god, do they actually have one, two, three, four Bobby Strings right here? They have three Night Terrors. In this store, they have everything in the quantity of plethora. They even have a plethora of demonic gatekeepers here. Look at this. We got four of them. We got an Emmeline over here, a dark princess. Do they only have one dark princess? I'll bet there's more down there. We got a towering Tallulah right here. We got two grave watchers. I should buy this little chick. I've wanted her forever and I still have not yet bought her. We have two Wanda Webworths here, two light up ghost face. Look at this, we have two cotton candy Dans. Man, those things are huge. They take up a lot of room on a truck. We have a gravestone ghoul, some stuffed dummy props. Look at this, guys. Look at this. We have a poor George in this store. Can you believe that? First store I've been in this season where I've seen a poor George. We got a Mr. Punchy, and look at this. We got a Toothy the Clown in the Canadian store. Three Corpse Bride Emilys here, but I have yet to see a Victor. Two more light up ghost face here, and look at this. We have two of the Scream Ghost Face animatronics on the bottom, and look 
who we have hiding behind them. Holy crap, guys, it is a hex spawn. This store actually has a hex spawn. I am totally putting the hex spawn in the thumbnail for this video. You know what? Let's leave some stickers here for poor George. Let's leave a couple for Emily. Let's leave one in the skull funnel. I think we need to leave a tube of aqua fresh in here. We got some creepy crimson girls on swings. We have a ton of these scary flying ghosts. I need to get one of these because these make the old school sound of... Oh, what in the world? Look at this. I'm over here playing around with a scary ghost and they have a plethora of Art the Clown babies. First, let's put some stickers in the cauldron. We have the Pennywise horror baby. We have a ghost face horror baby. And we have three, not one, not two, but three Art the Clown horror babies. They've got Monkey Chimes, The Butcher, Pestilence Pete, and we have this side-stepping ghosty here. Check this out. I love just regular ghosty things and classic Halloween decorations. We got a couple of Sams here. We have three good guys Chuckies. We got an Annabelle back here. We got the ghost face side stepper, the Michael Myers side stepper, the spiky side stepper. Wait a minute, the spiky side stepper. The spiky side stepper. Okay, fine, the Chucky side stepper. <laughs> a whole plethora of zombie babies. Here's a Friday the 13th super plush throw. Even when I was looking for all things Friday the 13th in the Spirit Halloween store the other day, I did not see this. This is very cool. Oh my gosh, I'm just blown away going into these stores and seeing so many of these crossbody bags, knowing how many people want them in the States. All right, let's make our way back up here to the animatronics that are Setup. We already saw this scary guy, but I think his sensor is on. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> All right, sir. And then we got Nibbles over here. Look, we got the Hello Rat over here. We got Steven Seagull down here and Nibbles waiting to follow us. Oh, he doesn't have a... Oh, here he goes. Are you going to follow me, sir? Are you going to? I guess he's not going to follow me today. Okay, you can murder me another day. And then, of course, we have Art the Clown up here right when you walk in the door waiting to greet everyone. He's not very loud in this store. They must have got sick of hearing his horn. <laughs> I don't blame you. All right, let's do the Wheel of Fate here before we go. Come on now. Will I live? Will I die? Here we go. What's it going to land on this time, guys? I'm thinking it's going to be the eye. Is it the eye? It's the eye! The one eye! And then we have Mac Straw over here. One of my favorites from the whole season. <laughs> <laughs> Good old Mackie. All right, we haven't been in here too long yet. Let's go ahead and walk around and just see if there's any kind of things in the costume department that I haven't really seen. Hello, Freddy. Hello, Chucky. <laughs> here we go. I don't think I've ever seen these Chucky scissors. Look at those. Those are huge. And they have the print from the good guy's clothes. That is pretty cool. They have the spirit jerseys here. I have seen those plenty of times, but I always want to look at them because they're just so cool. 31 on the back for Halloween, October 31st. We got the Jason jersey here too. I know I'm going off track. I said things I'd never seen before. Let's keep on looking. Hello, Beetlejuice. Okay, so I've known about these, but this is one that I've never seen in person before. It's the Beetlejuice Beetlejuice Shrinker Bob costume. Look at that with the shrunken head. So that comes with the jacket with attached shirt and tie pants, shrunken head hat, and inflatable shoulder pads. I wondered how they would pull off that tall thing. Look at the face. That's the shrunken head. And look at this. Have we looked at this before? The sandworm hooded jumpsuit. That is pretty cool. We haven't looked at Michael Myers in these stores very much yet this season. They always have a couple of different Michael Myers masks. That's just like a face, just a regular plastic one. Here's Halloween 2 right here, kind of smashed in. That's actually a pretty good looking mask right here. And this one is from the 2018 movie. Then we have another plastic one down here. This one actually kind of looks like the new animatronic they came out with this year, which... 
I don't think I've seen in any stores yet, have I? Maybe one. Here's a couple of chick its that I haven't seen before. <laughs> the Pennywise costumes for girls. That one's pretty cool. That's like the newer one. And then this one over here is like the older one from the 90s. I think I actually like this one better than that one. Not the movie, just the costume. Georgie's boat crossbody bag. Oh look, here's a couple costumes I don't think I've seen before. Annabelle, first off, but also Stripe from Gremlins. Lots of Hocus Pocus stuff here. I have not watched Hocus Pocus yet this season. Of course, I watch it like at least once a month throughout the off season, so I guess that counts. And they are absolutely stocked with ghost face stuff here. Look, have I seen this shirt before? Black and white plaid shirt with the ghost face patches on it. Ooh, big one on the back. That's pretty cool. And I don't think I've seen this jacket here. This is like a thicker one with a hoodie on it. We got ghost face up there. It says ghost face right there. Anything on the back? Oh, cool. Hold on. Yeah, check out the hood. If you put it up, it's ghost face on there. And then we have a big slasher patch on the back. This is one of my favorite costumes in the whole store. Frozone. Where's my super suit? Why do you need to know? No. Manly tape measure inflatable. I'm out. Here's an inflatable alien that I don't think I've seen before. It's just a gigantic alien. I have seen the one that looks like he's carrying away the kid, but I don't think I've seen that one right there. Right next to the inflatable corn. We got the Mr. Howell costume here. It's kind of strange that they didn't just call him Mr. Howell because that's obviously who he is. Look at this, a serial killer. I don't think I've ever seen this one before. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. I don't know how I missed all these we got two slim animatronics over here and look at this two mars attacks martian warriors how does that even happen this box looks pretty good this one looks like it's kind of been through the ringer but even if you had to take this one you'd be lucky to get it because they are not in very many stores at all this season in fact people have been selling them online for like a thousand dollars and let's not ignore the atomic ray gun on top that is pretty cool too that's brand new for this year i must have missed them with my one eye holy crap and i just said i haven't seen it in any stores here it is the michael myers animatronic brand new for this year that's the one that i just said that mask over there looks like the new animatronic i must not even have come over here on this side of the store because there he is okay let's leave some stickers for the bucket the bucket the bucket let's leave some for the cat the unicorn this guy and we'll put one in the purple bucket all right there we go look at this right up on the top by the giant spirit of children sign all right guys there we go store number five i believe in canada oakville ontario awesome store <laughs> All right, guys, we are still in Canada. I just rolled into this gigantic mall to go to this spirit Halloween back here that is in an old Sears hardware. But first, look at this. We got a Sonic down. Get help quick, Sonic. Some small unlucky child just lost his brand new Sonic plush over in this parking lot here away from the spirit Halloween. So we're going to go ahead and set him right here by this pole, not by the bird poop, right over here. <laughs> we need to get Sonic back to his rightful owner. So if you own Sonic, come on down here and get him. And I'm also going to leave you a spirit of children bracelet and a handful of stickers. Please, if you do not own Sonic, do not come steal him from the very sad child who lost him. <laughs> Spirits open, let's go! Pick me up in an hour. And now that that is handled, let's make our trek over here to the Spirit Halloween in the old Sears 
hardware store. This is a gigantic mall, guys. Every shopping center I have been to here in Canada is absolutely enormous. Look at this. I love the design of this building. This is so cool. And look at this. We have the Spirit trucks back in here, freshly delivering the awesome Spirit Halloween merchandise. I've been taking a bunch of pictures of this, trying to get just the right angle so I can use this in my thumbnail. But man, I don't know. That's kind of difficult. That is an enormous sign. All right, let's go ahead in here, guys, and see what this store in Oshawa, Ontario, Canada has to offer. Why do I always grab the door that's locked? Wow, even from right here, this looks like an enormous store. I love how we got the spirit signs down here, the spirit signs over here. The automatic doors are already open. Wait, did you see how that TV right there just filmed me as I walked in? It was filming me as I was filming it. I am super excited, guys. This is one enormous store. Look at this. They got the entire carnival setup going on down throughout the galley. I just got the most awesome welcome to this store, guys. So very cool. The only thing she didn't say, which I was kind of expecting being in Canada, was, welcome to Spirit Halloween, eh? But that's okay. At least she didn't call me a hoser. You know what? Let's go over here and look at these animatronics. First of all, we have two of the light-up ghost face. What is that child doing? We have a Slim here. Oh my gosh, some of the things I capture on this camera. We have two Barnaby Bears here. We have a man's possessed friend. I am actually really surprised that there is only one man's possessed friend sitting here. There has got to be more in this store. There's usually a whole plethora of man's possessed friend. We've got two Mr. Punchies here. Holy crap, look at this. We got Beetlejuice right over here. We got Beetlejuice set up right up here under the Spirit Hallows Cemetery sign. How cool is that? This is very peculiar because look, this almost looks like a stage. And then over here, there's this gigantic thing. I wonder if they're getting ready to set up something awesome and haunted on there, or if it actually is a stage. I am very, very intrigued by this. All right, we got to come back over here for a second and check out this Beetlejuice setup because this is totally awesome. He's kind of quiet sitting up there because it's such a big store. But here is his box down here. And yeah, that's empty. That is actually the one that they have set up up there. You can help me get out of here, you know, because I gotta tell you, this, uh, this thing is this makes me want to go home right now and set up my Beetlejuice animatronic. All right, let's keep on moving around here, guys. See what else they have. All right, so I have it on good authority that this is for when they have the nightly fashion shows. Okay, I'm lying. I just asked, and this is actually where the escalator is. They had to do something to cover the escalator. So that was a very good idea, but how cool would it be? if they had fashion shows with costumes. Oh my gosh, look at this, guys. They actually have four Sam inflatables here. They are absolutely stocked with inflatables. Look at this, they have several of everyone, an entire plethora of everyone. We've got four of the gigantic Nightmare Before Christmas groundbreaking worms here. I love how he has the Christmas tree in his mouth. He's just munching away. We've got a demonic gatekeeper over here. We've got a cotton candy. Dan. We've got two sitting scarecrows here. We've got an Emmeline here. Oh, here we go, guys. I knew there was going to be another man's possessed friend around here. We got a Dagger Mike. We have a Wanda Webworth. And look who we have on the other side here. The Black Heart. And look at this. The last store we were in had three giant death rays, and I couldn't believe they had three. They have four here. Three max straws, two fucking skull piles. Somebody just made a donation. And in just a minute here, we're going to walk down the entire boardwalk and look at all these animatronics. But let's keep on walking around here for a minute and see if there are any more that are kind of hidden in a corner. Just like the Beetlejuice, you never know when one might pop up. But wait a moment. Look at this guy. It's a daddy bear backpack. I doubt his name is really Daddy Bear. 
I can't read that because I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> but how cool is that? I love you, Daddy Bear. Oh my gosh, guys, this store is absolutely enormous. All right, let's keep on moving here. I don't see any other animatronics that I missed. We do have some sitting Sam dolls, some Annabelles here. Let's leave some stickers in these cauldrons here. We do have some life-size posable skeletons here. Wow, they got a lot of those. And we have, wait a minute here, we have empty soul girls on a swing. We got four of those. We got a couple of creepy crimson girls on swings. We got a couple of these ghost swings here. Self-powered ghost swings. Lots of zombie babies. And they have both the zombie baby's cradle and the zombie baby's chair. Wait a minute. I think this is a mask that I have never seen. What the heck, if I can get it out of there. Skeleton with chest. Check that out if I can get my shadow off of him. That actually looks pretty cool. Oh, look at this. They have the Jeepers Creepers mask up here. I'm not going to take that down. I'll never get it back up there. What is this? A half bot mask? That's like a Terminator. Oh, and it lights up. That's pretty cool. The Nighty Night mask. I haven't seen that one in a while. They have a giant selection of masks here. This entire store, even with how huge it is, is just stocked from one end to the other. Masks, weapons, accessories, blood, glasses, wigs, tutus. Seriously, they have tutus. I wonder if they have three threes. I love the mobster costumes. Look at this. We got the mobster kit. Guy's got a giant cigar. We've got the dapper gentleman and the white pinstripe mobster suit. I'm not even kidding. I saw this out of the corner of my eye and I thought it said sweet child of mine. Look at us. They have all of the new light covers. We got the skeleton. We got the purple hair clown, the secret keeping cat, and the pumpkin. Well, wait a minute. Here's some things I haven't seen. The pop open pumpkin and the pop open ghost. These look to be like paper lanterns, if I can get it off there. That's exactly what it is. It's a little paper lantern. It pops open and you put an LED light in it. Oh, I guess it actually comes with the LED light. That's cool. And the ghost is probably the same thing here. I don't know if that's a paper lantern inside there or not, but it comes with the LED light. Secrets keeping cat silhouettes for your yard. Oh, I almost missed all the jumping spiders here. Let's see, do they have them all? We got a gray here, a black, we got a brown. Do we have that? Yep, we got the black and red also. All right, let's come over here and talk to this guy real quick because he just will not stop talking. Hello, Nibbles. <laughs> <laughs> I love how as soon as I said that, he turned to me and laughed. Let's go ahead and leave some stickers for Emily and Victor here. A couple for Bobby Strings. Some for the sitting scarecrow. Ah, he's not... Oh, he has a, a foot pad here. A foot pedal, whatever you call it. <laughs> All right, we're back up at the front here, guys. Let's go ahead and get through the carnival here. Now, hold on. It's a little bit darker in here, so maybe we will be able to see this guy's chest display. All right, here we go. He's getting ready. Hold on. Here comes the shack attack. <laughs> yeah, we can see it a little bit better in here. It's still pretty bright in here, but we can definitely see it better than any of the other stores. This sign looks absolutely awesome since it's a little bit darker in here. And we got Ghostface going over here already. We got Steven Seagull down here. Let's go on through the carnival. Let's just take for a second here to look at these awesome blinking lights. That is so very cool. Hello, Mr. One-Eye. All right, let's... Oh, Dark Princess, she's on the sensor. She just scared the crap out of me. <laughs> I did not expect her to jump up. I almost actually called her the Dark Angel. I keep wanting to say that, but it's the Dark Princess. Very good job scaring me, Dark Princess. All right, we'll come back around to Tallulah. We got somebody else spinning the wheel here, but we're gonna go ahead and leave her some stickers. There you go, ma'am. This is a very busy store, guys, and I absolutely love it. All right, let's come on over here to Mac Straw. We can get him going. Come on, Mac. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it would be super easy to make a Max Straw costume. Look at this. All you have to do is get a grass skirt, like a Hawaiian grass skirt, a little bit of burlap or a paper bag to make the mask, a hat, and a pitchfork. Not a real pitchfork. You know what? Just because I said that, now we have to go see if they sell pitchforks. Where did I see 
the weapons. The weapons of mass destruction. I don't see any pitchforks in here. I do see the secret keeping cats. What do you think about my shirt, sir? And as usual, he's keeping that information a secret. I do see scabs and carrot best friends forever. Oh, that's right. Weapons are right back here. All right, let's see if they have any pitchforks. I, well, I mean, they do have the devil's pitchfork here, but that's not really what we're looking for. Wait a minute. Here it is. Here we go. Pitchfork. You can officially dress up as Mac Straw. And really, you could probably just get a regular costume and then make the face. You'd have to, I don't know, like I said, maybe a paper bag or some burlap or something, but you could totally be Mac Straw for Halloween. All right, let's come on over here and get the giant death ray going. Come on, death ray. Oh, that's cool how they have his arm way up like that. He's pretty loud in this store too, very cool. We got the cremator going on over here. Let's get Art going, come on Art. And back around to the fun house. Let's go ahead and go through the fun house first. Here we go. The yummy smell of cotton candy. All right, I hate to walk through so fast, just in case this is your first time watching any of my videos and seeing Spirit Halloween through the eyes of mine as we walk through the fun house. Look at this guy. And these mirrors are crazy because I'm actually really tall and skinny. Okay, that was a lie too. <laughs> Before donuts, after donuts. All right, let's get out of here and look at the animatronics that are set up over here. I can already hear these two going on. We got Emily and Victor. Now I can do the same thing. Wow, she is really loud in here. With this candle, I will light your way in darkness. With this ring, I ask you to be mine. All right, back over here to Barnaby Bear. Come on, Barnaby. We got a gray jumping spider over here. Usually you see the black or the black and red. All right, sir. I've never petted a spider in Canada before. We got bobby strings going on over here already. All right, let's come on over here and get cotton candy. Dan, I've been in so many stores, I can't even remember if I've got these guys going or not. Uh-oh, cotton candy Dan. Cotton Candy Dan is on a break. Dan's on a cotton candy break. Wanda Webworth. So remember the other store, these little feelers here were like going crazy? Look at the plethora of eyes on Wanda Webworth. All right, and that brings us all the way back over to Nibbles, who we talked to earlier. Oh my gosh, guys. All right, I think we've been through pretty much the entire store. Obviously, we haven't looked at everything in the entire store because this place is absolutely enormous. But for my last store that I am filming today, it goes out with a bang because this place is awesome and huge and stocked to the brim or the top of the coffin. One more look here at Mr. Beetlejuice before we go. Yeah, I'm feeling a little, uh... <laughs> I wonder where a guy, an everyday Joe like myself. Oh wait, we can't leave yet. I don't think I've left any stickers in the bucket. The bucket, the bucket, the bucket. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. This is something I haven't seen before. Time to slay. And as you move this way, it turns into time to play. Spirits open, let's go. Pick me 
me up in an hour. Wow, guys, I am truly a foreigner today. I don't know how many hundreds of Spirit Halloween stores that I have been to and talked about seeing things I've never seen before, but this is a first for me. I have never seen a Spirit Halloween sign written in French. Check that out. That is pretty dang cool right there. We are continuing our Spirit Halloween tour across Canada, and today we are in this place, which I couldn't even pronounce, so I had to look it up. It is pronounced Lingale, Quebec, and it's not even Quebec. Apparently, it's Quebec. Lingale, Quebec. You guys know me. If you've been watching these videos for a while, I will take any chance I get to mispronounce a name like Okanomawak, Wisconsin, <laughs> but I am not going to do that here. I am truly beginning to learn what it feels like to be a foreigner in a different country. I'm so ignorant, I never even considered that they might speak a different language in any part of Canada. Everything here is French. I can't even pronounce anything else on that sign except Spirit Halloween. All the street signs, all the stores, everything is in French in this area. And I'm very curious to find out if the packaging in this store is in French. Oh my gosh. Guys, what if the animatronics speak French? That would be cool. Well, here it is. Let's go in. Lingale, Quebec, Canada. I think we are about 20 minutes from Montreal. Let's go ahead in and see what it's like in this store. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. And I don't speak a stitch of French. This must be the sign that tells the hours. I have no clue. I do not belong. Okay, now I belong. No matter what language it is, it's still Spirit Halloween. Oh my gosh, this store looks so awesome. And I don't see one person in here. Where the heck is everybody? This is so cool, guys. Look at this. The first thing that I notice is that, yes, the signs are in French. I don't know how much else is in here. I mean, looking straight at the, uh, the products here, they're all in English. But look at that. That is cool. There is something you don't see every day. Look at this. The signs over the socks, the animal costumes, every department. Check that out. Oh my gosh. Okay, so yes, they definitely do speak straight up French in here, guys. And I am the foreigner, so I need to tread lightly in here. No jokes today. Like, I truly do not want to offend anyone. And I am just amazed at the awesome sights in here, guys. It is still Spirit Halloween, no matter what language it is in. I absolutely love this. This brings a whole new level to the video. Okay, they have got a ton of animatronics on the floor here for sale. You know what, let's just go through those first and then we're gonna come back to the animatronics that are set up in the carnival. Check this out, we got a dagger mic here, we've got a Nibbles the Clown, we've got a Slim, they have the Killer Clown's popcorn gun, the Fogging Skull Pile, they have a Ghost Face animatronic, we've got an Annabelle, a man's possessed friend, the Cremator, oh my gosh, right there is Heckles. Somebody literally just asked me last night on a video if I had seen a Heckles in a store this season, and I have not. This is a first. We've got some sitting scarecrows, some scare sitting scarecrows. We've got the Calgreness, Barnaby the Bear, a giant death ray on the bottom, fogging skull pile. We got another animatronic ghost face over here, and we have the baby hiding Harry, or as I like to call him, peekaboo clown. We got the demonic gatekeeper over here and the inflatable spider, the giant death ray, another Barnaby the bear, the Jack the Reaper archway. And here is the answer to my question. Do the animatronics speak French? They do not. Although this guy, I'm not sure. <laughs> All right, we're going to come back and see these guys in a minute. Now let's come on down here. We've got a whole plethora of jumping spiders here. I see the black jumping spider. We've got the brown jumping spider. I see the gray down here on the bottom and we have the black and red all the way down on the bottom. We have all of the jumping spiders. And look who's hanging up here. Oh, he's turned on but he's not working. I wanted to hear him make his sounds. We got the 
inflatable Sam. We got the fogging skull pile here. And look who we have up here. Oh my gosh, we have two Grave Watchers right there. And we have the Ringmaster right here. I keep saying I'm gonna buy the Grave Watcher. Today just might be the day, but look who else we have. We have the creepy Crimson Girl on a swing. While we're here, let's go ahead and spin the Wheel of Fate. Where will it land? What is it? What will it be? <laughs> the Skull of Death. All right, let's just come look over here real quick in the corner, see if we spy any other animatronics we are missing. I don't see any right off the bat, so let's go ahead back up here. We'll look at the animatronics through the carnival. And of course, we've got the Ringmaster and Ghostface. Look at the tip of Ghostface's knife. It got bent somehow. All right, let's go ahead and get him going here. Strange that you and I have never spoken on the phone. This is long overdue. All right, let's go ahead and get the ringmaster going here. Come on now, shack attack. Uh oh, oh here he goes. My menacing menagerie can't wait to awaken your very cool and look down at his feet we have the creeping cat we have the hand eater zombie and we have the black crow and look who we have over here at ghost face we have the hello rat all right let's go ahead through the carnival here hello jack the one eye and here we have towering Tallulah and the dark princess all right i don't see a step pad for Tallulah. is maybe her sensor on I don't think so unless this is her. Oh, okay, we got two of them over here. Let's go ahead and do this one first. This has gotta be the Dark Princess. I hope she doesn't fall off of there. Don't fall off. <laughs> I thought for sure she was gonna fall off the side. I've got to move her over, hold on. Move her over, there we go. We don't want you falling off, little miss. All right, let's just do it one more time here with her not falling off. All right, Dark Princess, it's your time to shine. There we go. Oh my gosh, guys, my nerves are just on the edge in here. I feel like such an idiot walking around speaking straight up English and everybody in here is speaking French. Like I just feel so out of place and I feel like I need to be sorry to everybody around me. <laughs> here comes Tallulah. There she goes. <laughs> All right, let's come on over here and see Max Straw. Here we go. Hello, Mackie. <laughs> <laughs> you need some aqua fresh look at this i don't know if i've seen the zero tombstone yet before check this out i don't want it to fall over but i want to push the button and see what it does okay there's a light up there a blue light that illuminates the headstone that is pretty cool let's get the giant death ray going here Okay, we got the cremator and we got Art the Clown here. Alright, let's get Art going. Come on, Art. Oh, he's not moving. All right, I'm gonna leave some stickers in the Scarecrow's bucket here. Um, his sensor must not be on because he didn't jump and I don't see a step pad down here, but that's okay. All right, let's move on to the Fun House of Terror over here. We already kind of saw these guys. Let's go ahead and do Bobby strings here. Come on, Hi Bobby. There, kids. You're a lovely sight. Here's a spooky tale to fill you up with fright. I'm a puppet who's trying to get undone. So when you're fast asleep, I'm gonna roll around. Oh wait, we gotta come over here and do the jumping spider. Hold on. And these guys are on the sensor, so they're gonna be going crazy. Let's go ahead and get the spider going. Come on, Mr. Jumpy. There you go, good job. All right, we'll go through the fun house of terror and then we'll make our way to this side here. Let's go on in. Fun house of terror. 
I don't, oh, I do smell a cotton candy in here. I almost said I don't smell it, but I do. I got a little bit farther in and I could smell it very strongly. Before cotton candy, after cotton candy. All right, let's keep on moving here, guys. Let's get nibbles going here. Come on, well, Nibbly. Well, well, you caught my eye. Don't worry, I'm just admiring your costume. <laughs> hey, you over there. Yeah, you. I'm giving out some candy. I thought this would be a great way to make some friends. So come a little closer and try to take some. What do you say? <laughs> he was definitely the loudest one in here. Oh my gosh, he abruptly stopped talking and looked straight at me. I'm sorry for interrupting you, sir. I love how around everything they have so much stuff set up. Look at this, we got some inflatable jack-o'-lanterns over there, the inflatable Jack the Reaper archway. We got the hand eater zombie baby over there. We've got chainsaws. We got this pumpkin guy. Check it out, I never noticed this sign before. Spirit Carnival presents the Fun House of Terror Brought to you by the Carvomatic Jack-O-Lantern Company. Very cool. I think the Carvomatic was one of the best things they ever had set up. All right, let's see if we can get Wanda Webworth going here. Come on, Wanda. I love the spider sounds. Makes me want to go home and watch Arachnophobia. And then we've got Cotton Candy Dan. Let's go ahead and... Get him going here. Yum, yum, yum! Sometimes it's sweet, sometimes it's not. <laughs> One thing I'll tell you though, it'll do more than rot your teeth out. <laughs> okay, let's make our way through a little bit of this store here. They are absolutely stocked, guys. Look at this, they got a couple things over here I didn't even point out. They have two of the Nightmare Before Christmas groundbreaking worms. We got the new Barbara Wire zombie baby. We have the inflatable clown with purple hair and spinning eyes. Look at all this. Every crack and crevice is absolutely stocked in here. We got some of these light up porch buddies down here. Sam from Trick or Treat. We've got all three of these blow molds up here. They don't actually light up, but you could easily add a light to them like you could cut a little hole in the bottom or the back and add a light to those and that would be cool i love how they have different zombie babies just set up all around the store randomly we've got gutsy gwen here eating her pumpkin we've got the pennywise horror baby we've got the ghost face horror baby we've got the slim bobblehead this is pretty cool i don't know if i've seen this before i probably have but I'm always looking at so much stuff in these stores that I miss things. We got the ghost face bobblehead back here. Michael Myers bobblehead here. I think, do I have this one? I think I actually have this one. Whoa, look at this. This is something I haven't seen before. Time to slay. And as you move this way, it turns into time to play. That is one of the coolest things I have ever seen. Young Michael Myers turns into old killer Michael Myers. Of course, young Michael Myers is also a killer. That is seriously so cool. Oh my gosh, have you guys seen these in any other stores? You gotta let me know in the comments below. I am so gonna regret it if I don't buy this. All right, here's another thing. Look, I mean, look at this. Every crack and crevice of this store is absolutely packed with stuff. And somebody was asking me the other day if I had seen any of these Terrifier neon light up signs. And here is one, in fact, there's two of them here. I think I may have seen them in other stores, I don't remember. Maybe not Terrifier, but they also have Mars Attacks. Here's a Killer Clowns one here. Here's Ghost Face with double knives. We got Sam's Sucker up there, and there's the Time to Float Pennywise balloon. Ghost Face Blow Molds, man, they have four of those, and there are two Ghost Face Horror Zombie Babies down there too. We got the Ghost Face, Michael Myers, and Slim Side Steppers. Oh, and look behind him. We we have the spiky side stepper and the ghost. Here's the Art Crispy's throw blanket I've pointed out a couple times. I just think that thing is awesome. I don't see any other throw blankets here that I have not personally seen. 
in other stores, but I really do like this Frankenstein one, the original horror show. That is awesome. I love these Hawaiian looking shirts here, especially the banana shirt. Here's some cat buckets. Let's go ahead and leave some stickers in those. If you guys come in looking, they're in the cats. And I'm gonna leave a couple in these buckets over here right below the Deddy Bears. We'll put one in there, two in there. We got Wednesday and her headless doll. A ton of awesome SpongeBob costumes, including the jellyfishing net, which comes with a jellyfish. That is hilarious. That is one thing I'm not sure I have seen in other stores, but I absolutely love it. Michael Myers slippers. Okay, here we go. You see the ha ha guy right there, right across from him as we turn to the left. Here is the Michael Myers section, and to the left, here is the Sam trick-or-treat section, and this is a magnet. I'm going to stick it right here on that pole. That is for you. In fact, we're going to put it up way high so a parent has to get it. <laughs> Look at this. They got the rat eaters over here protecting the inflatables. We have the inflatable hearse, the inflatable spider, zombie pathway markers, groundbreaking skeletons. I just cannot get over how packed this store is guys look at this you can barely walk through here and look at this as i turn to the right look up here they have even more stuff waiting to come down on the floor including another heckles i see hiding back there and look at this up on the balcony now chances are these are all just the boxes from all the animatronics they have set up but look at that, we got the Cremator, we got Ghostface, the Sitting Scarecrows, Towering Tallulah, the Ringmaster, Bobby Strings, everybody. There are so many masks here, it's absolutely insane. I don't think I've ever seen this one before. Fully hollowfied Ichigo mask, is that how you say it? We got a couple of the Hanging Jack Reapers here, a Hanging Sam. Wow, it just continues. There is so much stuff in here, I cannot believe it. Look at this Skella guy right here. It's like a Skella spider. Hanging witches, hanging skeletons, hanging pumpkins. Oh my lord. Look at what they have on the bottom shelf, guys. In a store, they actually have a burrito baby. What the heck? Burrito babies are almost extinct. You cannot find them in stores anymore or even online unless it's an eBay reseller. All right, guys, I am putting him back down here on the bottom shelf right here, right now. Lingale, Quebec, Canada. If you want a zombie baby, this is your chance. Oh my gosh, this store rules. We got creeping cats. We've got scabs. We've got a heart. We've got the zombie squirrel. Look at this Halloween goodness stack here. I just cannot believe how much stuff is in this store. This literally makes me think of Christmas morning over here. Look how it's just stacked up as if you looked up and there would be a Christmas tree right there. And here's what I'm gonna do right here in this corner with these inflatables, these zombie babies, these cornucopia of Halloween goodness right over here by these Skella guys. I'm going to leave one more magnet. I'm gonna stick it right up here for someone to find. I know that is awesome. Seriously, it just looks like the greatest Christmas ever. All this stuff just stacked to the brim back here. There's so much stuff this whole corner is just like a tunnel walking through. And as we leave out of it, we see the secret keeping cat. Don't tell anyone where I put the magnets. All right, let's get out of that area here. I don't have much battery left, guys. For some reason, my battery has just run down so fast in this store. I am literally on 15%. I am getting notifications that it's going to end soon. So I'm just gonna go ahead and call it a day in this store. Absolutely enormous store packed to the gills. It's seriously as if four stores closed down and just said, here, take all our stuff. All right, that's it. All of this is costumes back here and accessories, more costumes and accessories over this way. We got the hairspray. This guy just literally scared the crap out of me. I wish I had the camera going because I jumped right out of my skin. I was looking back here at the handcuffs, trying to read that appropriately and I jumped out of my skin when this guy yelled at me. All right, guys, to end this video, sorry if you wanted this and it's the only one you've ever seen, but I'm gonna go ahead and buy this.
awesome right up on the top. All right, guys, wow. That was a crazy experience. It was an awesome store. Never seen a sign in anything but English before. That was absolutely probably the most packed store I have ever seen. Lingale, Quebec in Canada. I bought the Michael Myers Time to Play, Time to Slay picture, and I left the burrito baby. And before we go, look who's over in this car looking straight at us. I went over there first and I looked in to make sure it wasn't a person before I filmed them. It's actually one of the stuffed dummy props dressed up like Michael Myers. How cool is that?